let's see, we need a little bit of intro music. And shuffle playlist. And play. <laughs> Okay, so this is Tori, and she's a Scottish Fold, and um, has papers and everything, but I got her for free. It was a kind of weird story. But I've had her since about 1999, 98 probably, or 99 I think. And um, she's the greatest cat in the world, as you can see. She's very fluffy and she has long hair. But a lot of Scottish Folds that will have... Um, the ears that are kind of cupped over, and they're real weird looking, and I think Tori is adorable. I think she's um, one of the best, better looking Scottish Folds. And another characteristic of the cat is they have like soft voices, and um, what that actually means is that they don't meow. So Tori, when she wants something, she'll go like... And like I can hear her mouth moving, and... I can hear her, alright, I'm going to put her down. Yeah, like I know that she's actually meowing, but, you know, no sound is coming out or anything, and it's real strange. Um, but it's nice, because she's not loud or anything, she's not doing that, but she's a great cat, she's really friendly, she's really sweet and loving. Um, yeah, she's kind of a scaredy cat, but, you know, that's where they got the name, so. Um, yeah, I love her, she's a great cat. And I don't really know how old she is. Um, I suppose I could look it up on her paperwork, but and I feel bad about that, sort of. Although she is a cat, I don't know. Because um, people always ask you, like, "Oh, how old your cat?" Like it really matters. Um, <laughs> you know, cats can't vote. They can't drink. Um, they can't buy cigarettes. They can't serve in the armed forces. So really. Either they're a kitten, or they're a cat, or they're dead. And that's pretty much it, you know. I guess at the end of their life, you can sort of um, tally up how old they made it to, and be like, oh, that's, that's a really old cat. Good job. Like, I had anything to do with it. I, mean, I try to take care of her, but, you know, I'm not really doing anything special other than feeding her and watering her and brushing her and loving on her. Um... Yeah, she's a great cat, though, and the, how I got her, it was kind of a funny story. Um, I was living in an apartment with my sister, and this was, like I said, in like 98 or something, and my mom, my mom and my stepdad used to live out here, but now they live in Missouri. Um, my mom had a friend that she worked with who had this cat, or they were... This cat was already, um, somebody had purchased it. I mean, she's like a purebred Scottish Fold. So somebody had purchased this cat, and her name was Cory, um, with a C. And it just wasn't working out with the family. Like, they had little kids, or I don't know what it was, but the cat was not working out and didn't like the family, and the, cat, and the family didn't like them. So my mom knew this woman, and she kind of connected me with this other woman who brought the cat over, and it was real weird, too. It was like a... It was a total adoption thing. Like, um, you know, she brought the cat over in a carrier, and she had paperwork and everything, and, like, a contract for me to sign. And at the time, Corey, who became Corey, um, she was about a year old, eight months to a year old or something, so, you know, she'd already, she wasn't a kitten or anything. Um, yeah, but the woman brought her over in, like, in a cat carrier, and into my old apartment, and... She let her walk around and kind of um, interact with me a little bit, and she was basically like like it was a date to see if we could get along or something. And um, I immediately fell in love with her. I thought she was great and just the cutest thing I've ever seen. And we did get along together. Thankfully, Tori actually liked me. So um, I don't I don't know if it was that day or not. I think, 
I don't even remember. Either it was that day and she had like a contract, like a crazy contract that I had to sign. Or maybe it was the next day or something or, you know, maybe that weekend. But anyway, she had this contract and it had things, you know, which is all good, but I've never signed it. I don't know. I've never been a party to anything like that. It was um, a bunch of weird things in the contract, like weird writers, like um, I couldn't get her declawed, you know, which she was already kind of an older cat. Um, so that would have been just cruel anyway. Um, I couldn't ever let her outside. Never. Which is strange. And I haven't to this day, and it's, I don't know, it's not because I really, like, fear legal repercussions or something. Um, I just don't want her getting outside and getting lost. Like, I lost a cat like that before. And, um, yeah, you know, and, like, what to feed her and stuff, and I don't know. Like, she's this little purebred princess, which she is, but, I don't know, it was funny. Um, yeah, so I signed it and then took possession of Tori, and we've been together ever since. And she's a great cat, I don't know. Never had a problem with her. Um, I've lived in this place, this is a townhouse that I own, um, since 2001. And at first, the only problem I've had with Tori is that she peed hardcore, like, on the, the carpet. And um, we just actually replaced the carpet last year. And the reason we sh she was doing it, I think, because we pulled up all the carpet and um, put down that kill stuff, that white primer. And there was already, that primer was already down on the ground. And we think she was actually peeing in response to, like, another cat. Like, there was another cat's pee smell or something down. And so Tori was you know, trying to cover that up with her own scent or something. It was weird. And, um, yeah, so we repainted over everything and then replaced the carpet. And she hasn't peed on the floor since, so that's the only thing. And she tore up a couch with her claws, because she still has her front claws, but, um, it's no big deal. Um, you know, couches don't last. Like, fabric couches, they don't last forever, so whatever. Um, other than that, she's a great cat. I love her, love her, love her, love her. It's awesome. So, yeah, and that's another thing too. Like, I want to see. Um, maybe I'll ask this to the Training Star Galactica, but you know, I want to see if you guys have animals and stuff, and I want to see them. Cause I like cats, and I like dogs too, and um, you know, I just want to see your pets. It, I think it, it says a lot about you. So, yeah.